Okay, let's take this uh, Mercedes 230TE for a spin. All the warning lights come on as they should, including the ABS light. And it starts beautifully, no problems there at all. And we've now done over 20 miles on this, and it's been absolutely first class, one of the nicest ones I've driven for a long time. Starts on the button, no peculiar engine noises or anything like that. Uh, changes gear absolutely smoothly, no sort of nasty uh, clunking or jerking or anything like that. Now sort of uh, up into third gear and just performing nicely. Um, no expensive noises, groans, squeaks, rattles, anything. It's one of the nicest uh, uh, W124 estates I've driven for a long time. Along with another Mercedes we have at the moment, this one's come from um, uh, a Mercedes collector up near Oxford um, and he clearly knows how to look after his cars or have them looked after um, because this one has been uh, very, very, well, very, very well looked after indeed. Um, even the electric aerial works. Try and turn the volume down a bit. But no, really, really lovely to drive actually. It tracks absolutely straight, there's no problems there. It has a matching set of Michelin energy tyres on it as well. Um, as I say, it looks to have been very, very well looked after indeed. Standard um, spec for one of this age with the, uh, the cloth interior. We have electric windows all round, which all work nicely. Um, we have uh, electric passenger mirror. Uh, Mercedes didn't run to an electric driver's mirror in those days. Um, the original uh, looks like a Blau, yes, there's a Blaupunkt um, radio cassette system. Um, things like rear wash wipe and everything like that is all up here. Um, being one of these uh, W124 cars, they're supposed to be the sort of the last of the properly built Mercedes, and we sell lots of these, and certainly they uh, they really do feel as if they're hewn from solid. In front of us here, we have the three-way uh, gauge that shows um, engine temperature or water temperature, which is fine sitting just below the halfway mark, um, fuel gauge and oil pressure gauge which is showing uh, exactly as it should, speedo in front of us and then rev counter to the right with a little clock in there as well. This one has ABS, um, it also has from memory I think from the outside it's got roof rails but I'll, uh, I'll check that on the other video. Uh, but really standard spec 230TE ready to give loads more years of service, um, so it drives perfectly there doesn't seem to be any issues with things like the self-leveling uh, suspension on the back or anything, one of the nicest ones I've driven for some considerable time. Um, I'd have no hesitation in uh, jumping in this and doing a, a long continental trip I don't think. Uh, also in the back it's got obviously the three headrests in the back uh, and the luggage blind and the luggage net and, so, and the uh, stereo with electric aerial. Cracking car all round actually, certainly the way it drives really can't criticise it at all. I also have the switchable automatic gearbox on these. Uh, sport and economy mode, I have to confess, I can't really tell the difference on, uh, on these. They're no sports car. Anyway, we're coming up to the junction now where we're going to turn. And so there's not a rattle, a squeak, a groan, anything on this. It really does feel uh, like a proper E230. The only thing we may need to do is just to secure the spare wheel properly. Okay, turn left. Get it dirty along here before we photograph it. Anyway, my name is Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 if you've got any queries or issues that you want to discuss on the car. End.